Now to new developments tonight in the death of a toddler whose remains were found in a lagoon. CBS 2's Mai Martinez joins us live from Garfield Park with an update on the investigation. Mai. Kate, we now know that that toddler was African American. That determination made today by the medical examiner's office. Meantime, out here, the search for additional remains continues. For a third day, the Garfield Park Lagoon was off limits to the public as Chicago police searched for more human remains. And as families gathered nearby to celebrate the holiday, they couldn't help but think of the unidentified child who the medical examiner's office says was only two or three years old. It's devastating for, the, uh, for a child to be in a predicament like that. The child's severed feet, hands, and head discovered over the weekend after someone called 911 and reported a foot floating in the lagoon. Who would cut up a baby? Why? For what reason? What the baby do? Like many, the Clevelands have questions about who the child was. Whoever mama or father it is, they know the child missing, and nobody's saying anything, and I think that's wrong. If one of my babies came up missing, I'm gonna look for it, and I'm, we gonna do something. How has this affected you, like as a parent? It hurts because I am a parent, and whoever the, the, the child belonged to, they should be feeling it too. Does it make you look at your grandbabies differently? Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on them. The Clevelands say they hope all the media attention will help police identify the child and find answers as to how the toddler died. Somebody knows something. According to the medical examiner's office, all of the body parts were decomposed. At this time, the cause and manner of death remain pending. The outcome of the investigation and the discovery of more remains. Reporting live from Garfield Park, Mai Martinez, CBS 2 News. Kate? All right, Mai, thank you.